lurches. You've seen all the gun dogs this morning. Gun dogs actually are quite the modern breed. No reason to have a gun dog until the gun was invented. So sight hounds, hounds have been working with man to put meat on the table for hundreds and hundreds of years. In fact, Salukis, Pharaoh hounds, those running dogs, they are depicted in hieroglyphics, 2,000 years old. So they are an ancient breed. It was illegal to take the king's deer. In medieval times, you were not allowed to own a greyhound. So the commoners come up with a plan. Right, if we breed this greyhound with what we think is probably more like a bearded collie, not a border collie, a bearded collie with a heavy coat, had a heavy coat, disguised the racing shape of the greyhound, but it had the speed and hunting instinct to catch and put meat on the table. There was also an area in Norfolk called Smithfield, and there was a dog there called the Smithfield Collie. Historians now think that was a lurcher. Very collie saturated, lots of collie in there, so at the herding instinct to drive the stock to market from Norfolk down to London, but on the way, because it had that little dash of greyhound in, it could put meat on the table. As I said, far cry now, pest control lurchers, a modern day lurcher is a pest control dog. Rats and rabbits only. I use terriers for the rats, don't like using me lurchers. So, the first dog we're going to show you is a 15 week old, 14 or 15 week old lurcher puppy. She's three quarter greyhound, one quarter border collie. Now, I'm sure as you've seen all the gun dog demonstrations, she's going to run really, really fast now, isn't she? In the ruined dolphin. So, yeah, as I was saying, you've seen all the gun dogs, and I'm sure that a lot of the gun dog handlers have told you get the best dog you can. Go to a reputable breeder, know the history of the dog, get that natural instinctive ability. Now, this dog, I say, 14, 15 weeks old, can't have been trained in any shape or form. It's a puppy. But what we want to try and show you that if you get the right dog, you get the raw material. So it's got natural instinctive ability to chase small ground game. And when she goes up, she should turn into a really good pest control dog. And we'll explain about pest control rabbits as the demonstration goes on. There's several methods. But we're just going to show you in it. 14, 15 week old Collie Greyhound. My favourite type of lurcher. I like the Collie Greyhound. Okay, Bob, let's give a little Linnet a run. There she goes, 14, 15 weeks old. And she's caught her. That's the third rabbit this weekend. She's doing well. Yes, sir. beautiful day. And hopefully, hopefully, And look at that, a live back to hand. So natural ability, you can't train that. That's what we're talking about. That's gonna make, that's enough. Quit while you're ahead, Kelly, quit while you're ahead. So that was Linnet, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for little Linnet, she deserves it. So as we say, we can't train that, that's natural ability. So, how do we pest control rabbits with lurches? Several methods. Lamping's one of them. That's the first one I'm going to show you. Now, actually, the weather isn't too bad today, but you imagine between the months of October through March, that's our hunting season. That's what I normally do. And we go out on a nice, dark, windy night. With the aid of an artificial light, we illuminate the rabbits. We then let the dogs chase, catch, and retrieve. And as you saw, Lynette retrieved. The gun dogs have to retrieve. These dogs, for me, have to retrieve. They're not an all-round working lurcher if they don't retrieve. These dogs can catch numerous rabbits of a night, and if they don't retrieve them, I'm chasing a dog around the field in pitch black trying to take the rabbit off the dogs. Not my type of fun. So, imagine, I know it's 11.30 on a Saturday morning, but it's 9 o'clock that night, it's raining, it's dark, I'm out with my dog, Gwen. Now, Gwen is exactly the same way bred as Linnet. So, look, wait there. Linnet will grow in to something like this. Gwen's two and a half years old. She's going to be lamping this year. She's had a little bit of lamping. And the one thing I like with my dogs, they are sight hands. They hit by sight. They've got grey out there. Now, as young dogs, I don't like them doing what gun dogs do and put their nose down. If you imagine I go out overnight in the field, 
put the lamp on, the dogs see the rabbit, and chases it, and it misses them. They're not catch everything. Otherwise, there'd be no rabbits left in the UK, would there? But then they put the nose down and they run all the way around the field, hunting everything that's about, and you will never catch a rabbit. So until they've mastered lamping, we don't let the lurchers use the nose. And that'll go on as we get the other dog out, we'll explain that we allow the dogs to use the nose. So she's quite patient there, so I'll walk up to the rabbit with the light, we'll get as close as we can. Now people say, wait there. People say, it must be dead easy. The reason we go out lamping at night is because the rabbits are more confident to feed further away from their berries in the hours of darkness. So we get as close as we could to the rabbit and then the rabbit may sit there and just wait or it may run and off when I go. They're soft mouth, the same as a gun dog. You want a soft mouth alert. You don't want them. I, they bring the back light at hand. I, as a handler, dispatch you. But, but, oh, I know what's going to happen now. Dispatch as quickly as you may need. But they've been in the van, obviously, for a little while. But I'm going to need a bin liner for that one. God, she's going to run really fast now. She's not handicapped now. Leave that alone, you. She's going to bring it back to me anyway, so I don't mind. Just wait, wait there. Good girl. Come here. She misunderstood me because I said sit. Wait, wait there. Who said men can't multitask? Look, ladies. <laughs> can't keep them up, keeping a dog still. Hold the microphone. Not too bad. So, again. Nice and steady, nice and calm. She's only two and a half years old. But she does know her craft now. I can't wait to work this dog this year. Okay, Bob, let's give one another run. Can you see how gentle she is? But it's, it's not easy for them to retrieve either. There's not many rabbits with 300 yards of string tied to the bum, is there? No, she's um. Oh, new smells. Okay, Cal, where are you? Good girl, what are you? We even run children if they want to go. Okay. Well, that was Gwen, ladies and gentlemen. So we've now done a bit of lamping. You can see, hopefully, what did now. As we said, don't let them, let them use the noses as young dogs. Because they'll hunt everything in and sight and you'll never catch a rabbit. And just for statistics, 10 rabbits can eat as much as one sheep in a day. So if you've got 20 rabbits in a little pasture, you might as well have two sheep in there. So the grass keeps for the landowners is important. So it's a valuable job we do. It's a very green way of doing it. So we've lamped. Now we're going to go ferreting. So, totally different weather. Not windy and rainy and dark. Nice, bright, crisp, frosty morning. No wind. Perfect for ferreting. So I get to a field. Okay, let her off. This is Luna, three quarter collie greyhound. Same way bred as Lynette and Gwen. They're the same dad. They've got the same dad. So I get to a field. Loads of holes in the hedgerows. And I'm thinking, look at all those rabbits. But do I know there's rabbits there really? I do now. Can you see what the dog's doing? This is what we say, marking. These dogs have got a much better sense of smell or hearing than any human, we know that. So, as a working lurcher, we allow the we harness that, that, just wait, we harness that ability. So she'll go to the berries and she'll smell them. Right there, yes, you get excited, aren't you? She'll smell them. So she'll mark, you can hear them underground. So when this dog does this uh, berry, I will then think, right, let's cut the heads back, let's put the nets down, let's put the ferrets in, and when the ferrets are in, Bob, what happens? Yes, that's what happens. And the lurch gets it, chase and catch. Thank you. 
Right, okay. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna put it in a different berry just to make sure we're gonna flute. So it's in there. Uh, 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 get your nose out. So she knows it's there. Look at that. Now she knows it's not there. She won't move from there. She's not gonna come here. Well this is there he is. She tells me though it's there. Now a little tip, if there's any lurch of people out here. The one mistake a lot of young lurch people make is they'll ask the dogs and they'll see a berry in the middle of a field or in a hedgerow and the dog will stick his nose down and they'll say, good dog, good dog, well done. But you don't know there's a rabbit there. So you could actually convince your dog that every time it puts its head down a rabbit hole, it's going to get praised. So you'll get what we call false marking. There may not be any rabbits there, but could you say the dog's good? So if you're going to start out first, a little tip that I normally use is walk some rabbits in off the field they go to ground, you know exactly where they've gone. Then you get your young dog to mark, and if it does this, and it can smell them and hear them, you praise it then. Make sure there's rabbits at home, otherwise you get false marking. I think she stood there, motionless enough, waiting for the rabbits. So Bob, let's give him another one. Yes, I know, you want to have another go, but you can't wait there. Hold on to it tight. Okay, Bob, just take this out of the way a minute, please. So, we've done some lamping. We've done some... <laughs> Hold on to the dog. <laughs> I love doing that. Right, okay, so we've done a bit of lamping. We've done a bit of ferreting. I'm getting fed up with eating rabbit this weekend. Put so many. Okay, we're just getting Luna out of the arena. And we're going to get a dog in called Akira. Now, Akira is not a collie greyhound. She's a Bedlington Whippet greyhound. What most people think allergic to look like, rough coated brindle. She's eight years old, and I can't wait for her to grow up. I really can't. Now, as I said, pest control dogs, but they are a very versatile breed, lurchers, and you can train them to do other tasks. You saw the gun dogs here earlier. Saw my brother with the spaniels. Luckily, he lets me go out on pheasant shoots. Ooh, a lurch on a pheasant shoot, how frowned upon that. But, so we train our dogs to do gun dog work. Now there's a lot of gun dog purists here. I'm gonna upset them. See, eight years old lot, ain't grown up. I'm going to show you how we train, or I train the lurchers to be effective gun dogs. We're not talking a field trial stuff here like the gun dog people are, so they might go, oh, we shouldn't do that, but I want a day's pheasant shooting. I can't ever run a lurcher in a field trial, come on. It's not a pedigree dog. Retrieve. So again with the gun dog, just a quick flick of the hand, off she goes, she makes a retrieve. Hey, don't you dare! Leave it, go on then. So that's, that's what gun dog people get like, go on then. Just go, get another one. Sit down and all that. Good girl. Okay. Kelly, can you get a little while I'm, while I'm doing this? Thank you. Right, okay. So, again, lurches. Whether they've been gun, doing gun dog work or they're doing pest control, they need to take obstacles. You don't want a lurcher running up down a hedge, running up down a gateway because the rabbit's gone underneath or there's a fetter on the other side. So we train our dogs to take obstacles and make retrieves. Very keen on gun dog work and the So again, we just send her. She makes a retreat. Oh, that's a bit messy, Kira. Good girl. But we'll just show you that Kira is really a lurcher. 
Get out the game bag, he's gone. Okay, Bob, let's show everybody that here it is a lurcher as well as a gun dog. Off we go. There she's seen a rabbit dog. Oh, there's some lurchers over there, want to join in? Okay. So. Good girl, wait there. Okay, so we've got effective. Yeah, get to get panda. Snag that. Thank you. So we've shown you some working dogs. Pest control rabbit, ferritin, lamping, shooting. Not everybody wants to work the lurchers. They are a working breed. Of course they are. But you may not want to go lamping or ferritin, but you like the breed. They, grow, they make great pets. Cow potatoes. Give them a good run around the field. Take them home, they'll sleep on a settee for the next 10 hours, take them out again. But there's a lot of people now with the game fairs that are being run. There's been a breeding, what would we say, lurchers. They're, they're racing dogs, but they are lurchers because they're crossbreds. So you can then own a nice, racy looking dog with a nice temperament. But then you go to the game fairs and race them. So people are breeding now a lot of small dogs. This is a whoopic greyhound, okay? Called Panda. Wonder why that is. Okay. So she's not really bred for work, but she's bred for racing. So again, I say, if you don't want to work your dog, you can still own a lurch and let it have an outlet because naturally. For hundreds of years, they have been bred to chase more ground game, Bob. And there she goes. It's just that natural instinctive ability. You'll never breed that out of a lurcher, a greyhound, a whippet. There you go, and she's retrieving. Oh, well, if she loses all the races, Kelly, we'll use her as a working dog. Ah, uh, it's snagged up. Oh, look at that. Whippet we'll greyhound retrieving. And she's not quite a soft mouth, the collie greyhound. One more run for Panda because he enjoyed that. Okay, here we go. Panda for the second time. She nearly overtook it, love. And she's got it again. Now that dog's going to go back in the van and it's happy because it's done what it's naturally bred to do. Here. You tripped me up. I can do that, look. Good girl. And it's retrieving. Superb. Just a bonus. Apart from don't get retrieving, they're racing. Okay, Kelly, put Panda away. We'll get the big lad out. Right. Caution to the wind now. Bob, don't take the mickey because you know what's coming your way. Right, okay. So, so you can race your dogs. You can work them. You can also show them. My daughter there, Kelly is mad on alert to show. So you go to all the game fairs, then you can show your dogs. So we're bringing a dog in the arena that Kelly rescued. Unfortunately, a good friend of mine passed away. He was one of his dogs. His wife couldn't cope with the amount of dogs that he had. We took him in the kennels. For the first few weeks, he had Carbobacter, Salmonella. Got him through that. Two weeks later, he had cancer. He had to have a tumour removed. First half the lead, the dozy dog saw a rabbit across the field, but didn't see the barbed wire fence. 19 stitches later, and 200 quid. Thank you very much. You still owe me for that, by the way. But then, he went to Chatsworth in Derbyshire last year in September, and he got reserve champion. He was classed as the second best lurcher in the UK. So, we do a fairy tale story for our Kelly there. But what we're going to show you, he's a show dog. He's bred for showing, but he's a lurcher. Let's show everybody Bob that is a lurcher. Off we go. Show dog, look at him go. That's what I mean. It's natural ability and instinctive ability. And look at that. Hey, up, no. He's not going to do this, is he? No, he's going to have a blonde moment now, isn't he? No, he's not. Now try and get it off him. <laughs> oh no you did. Right, one more run. And that's it. 
So we'll give Trooper one more run, ladies and gentlemen. That is a work of loads of demonstration over. My name is Nigel Varney, ably assisted by my daughter Kelly and all the lads, Hitman Healy, on the law, Mr Matt Breach, doing his stuff. And off Trooper caught it. He's too quick for you, Bob. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that rabbit. Well, as quick as you like, Bob. Here we go, troops. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a good day. Nigel, thank you very much, and thank you very much to all the Lurcher team. We hope you enjoyed.